hey guys welcome back to my channel if you are new i am chloe and today's video is going to be my july plan with me video i had a lot of fun filming it and i really like my theme for this month last month's theme was an anime theme and that was a bit out of my comfort zone and it's something i haven't done before and i had a lot of fun doing that but because uni right now is getting a little hectic i kind of toned down the theme and i'm kind of doing something more simple so for this month's theme i'm doing a cafe slash green and brown theme based off my love for starbucks and green tea lattes right now but yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video and without further ado let's just get started so i'm back with another plan with me video and honestly this was my second time filming or recording this voiceover i feel like it's been a while since i've recorded a voiceover or even just made a video i know it's only been a couple weeks on youtube but i feel like i've been away for a while youtube has just been on the side while i focused on uni i started my second term of uni and a lot has just happened and it's been really hectic i feel like i say that all the time but uni is just always on my back with everything i always have assignments to and honestly i've been burnt out so i haven't really been focused on youtube or social media i've just been focusing on school and also just trying to keep up with everything and survive and keep sane i guess i am really glad that i got to film this video and create my july plan with me because honestly this was my time to just relax because last week or the past few weeks it's been really rough personally uni is a lot and i just have been feeling really burnt out so my mental health is just declining and i haven't really had the time to do other things like play around with stationery or journal or do anything creative because every time i do something creative it's for school as a design major so whenever i get the chance or free time to do something creative out of school i'm just not in the mood for it because i already do most of that in school that i just want to break from it so for the past few weeks i've just been playing games sleeping a lot and just trying to keep sane but yeah as you noticed in the thumbnail and earlier in this video the theme that i'm gonna be doing for my planner for july is green and brown and this is mainly because of my love for green tea lattes or just green tea drinks at the moment as of lately i've been visiting starbucks as a way to complete some schoolwork because i've gotten to the point where being at home just no longer makes me feel motivated i guess i feel like whenever i see my bed i just want to nap so i've gotten into the habit of going to starbucks to complete my work and i feel a lot more motivated and productive because there's just other people around me and i'm surrounded by people who are also doing work so starbucks has become a comfort place for me and because i'm not really much of a coffee drinker coffee just makes me feel weird and i don't think it's good for me i just drink the green tea beverages and i'm just so obsessed i always get a green tea latte whether it's iced or hot depending on my mood and sometimes i get it with chai but overall green tea drinks are just so good i'm obsessed i used to be obsessed with boba but lately i've been having a green tea latte or frap obsession so that pretty much influenced this theme actually if you weren't aware i'm actually from sydney australia and as of this moment of me recording this voice over and editing this video we are currently in lockdown because of the rise of a few cases and i haven't been able to drink some green tea lattes or even leave the house so i'm just i guess having withdrawals or i miss it i personally don't know how to make that at home and i'd love to learn so it's more convenient because starbucks is a bit far from my house so i feel like making it at home would be good i just don't know how and i don't know where to get everything so i'm a bit unexperienced but if you have any ideas or you know how to help me let me know I am missing green tea lattes so yeah I'm literally obsessed but I just dedicated my theme to green tea lattes or Starbucks in general I know other cafes sell this drink or this beverage but I'm just most familiar with Starbucks just because that's the place I feel more comfortable or like I always visit that place so that's why I use these colors For 
for my monthly layout, I decided to just do the typical layout where I do the lettering for the title and I also just do a bunch of dots for the days of the month and on the side where I usually place the tasks that I have for that month. As a reminder, I just decided to incorporate main menu just to kind of imitate the concept of being in a cafe and looking at a menu. That is what you're going to be looking at and focusing on. So yeah, other than that, I also incorporated some other decorative elements. I cut out some visual elements from a memo sheet because I don't really use memo sheets anymore but I felt like these characters on this memo sheet really fit the concept and theme of this spread so yeah that's what I did I cut them out and stuck them on the page and for the rest of the monthly spread I just decorated it with some washi tapes some stickers you know the drill but I really had fun decorating these things because I have a lot of stickers or stationery that's related to food or cafe or desserts so I just had a lot of stationery to use and that's just what makes me happy I love stationery so using them in a spread is just satisfying I feel like I want to be stingy with stickers and sometimes I save stickers for later but I'm trying to get into the mindset of like if I'm not gonna use these stickers now when will I ever use them because I'm saving them for this special moment but will that special moment even come because I'm just gonna stop myself all the time that was a random thought but I hope some of you guys understand where I'm coming from with that I feel like because stickers or stationery is often like something you have to save up for or for my instance I personally don't think stationery is the cheapest so I like to save the good stationaries for the special moment but you know sometimes you just gotta think that every moment's special and i feel like that quote is much more deeper than i intended it to be but you get what i mean But yeah, I just decorated the monthly spread and then I moved on to the weekly spread where I just continued decorating with a bunch of stickers, a bunch of decorative elements like the cutout memo sheets or even some lettering. Overall, I felt like filming this video was very relaxing because I haven't really journaled this much or decorated or used my stationery like this in a while and it was definitely something that eased my stress. I've been feeling really burnt out, like I said, and down lately and this really helped make me feel better, I guess. I feel like I'm just giving you guys a little life update just because I haven't really been active on YouTube, but that's what's been happening in my life and I'm getting better, definitely, like I'm trying to be productive and on top of things. I'm trying to wake up early, you know, self-care. I do have a few vlogs and all of that coming up. I have filmed some stuff but I'm still in the works of editing them so hopefully you guys will see that soon. But yeah, if you have decorated or used your planner for this month or lately, let me know what theme you did just so I can get some inspiration for my next theme possibly or just so we can share and chit chat, you know? I always look at the comments and I always or most of the time reply so yeah talk to me because i love talking to you guys like your girl's in lockdown she needs someone to talk to I hope you guys liked how I decorated my spreads for this month. I finished decorating the month of June and I had a lot of fun decorating that. I did an anime theme if you remember. I will hopefully post some of those pictures on Instagram but if not I guess you're just gonna have to wait for my flip through but I'm really proud of the month of June and how I was able to keep up with it despite how stressful the weeks have been but yeah this is my planner and hopefully I can keep up with it because it really keeps my life organized and my life is not as much of 
of a mess when I'm using it, so hopefully I can keep it up. But yeah, those are the spreads that I decorated. It kind of reminds me of that chocolate bar, the bubbly one. I don't know, just any mint chocolate. It just reminds me of that. I don't even like mint chocolate, but I hope you guys like this spread I made. I'm just gonna relate it to Starbucks, not mint chocolate. But yeah, I hope you guys like it because I like it as well. So that was pretty much it for my plan with me video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm really glad I got to take the time to journal and just decorate my planner and i hope that you got to decorate or plan your planner or bullet journal let me know what theme you did for the month of july thank you so much for watching i hope you have a good day please take care of yourselves and i'll just see you later bye bye